Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is 480 Volts. I still feel like crap. All right, let's go, uh... Let's go, uh... Let's go see if we can find Sid. Now, I guess you're supposed to search everywhere until you find Sid. But thanks to the superpower of the internet, I know where he is. He is in the infirmary, and that's where we will find him. So that is where we will go, because we will find him in the infirmary, because he is in the infirmary. And since that's where we're going... We will find him there because he is in the... Okay. This is the infirmary, correct? All right. This guy right here is going to walk into the infirmary and we get in there. He's not going to be there. That is creepy. Where does he go? Yeah, let your mind think about that for a little bit when you try to go to sleep at night. Do you need to see the headmaster? Yes, now. Right freaking now. Well, the headmaster is kind of... I'm okay now, doctor. Are you sure? Yes, I believe I'm done crying. Just take it easy, okay? He's got a lot on his mind. I would imagine so. What is it? Are you injured again? No, I was just asking you a question. I don't even know what I was asking you. I was just talking to you. Just making conversation. What's up, city? You're all see me in an embarrass such an embarrassing state. Well, you know. Even old men lose their tempers, right? What shall we talk about? Ah, the weather here is nice, ain't it? Oh, actually, I want to make a report. No, no, it's not necessary. I can guess what must have happened. What must have happened? I mean, can, can you really guess what must have happened? I mean, okay. Do you know that I got an icicle stub stabbed in my chest? Did Can you guess that? What is seed up about anyway? What's the, please tell me the real meaning of seed. Seed is seed. Oh, thanks. The elite merch... <clears throat> Excuse me, the elite mercenary force of Balam Garden. Hmm, do you know something about Seed? I never know anything. Seed will defeat the sorceress. The Garden will train Seed members. The many missions around the world are only training for the final battle against the sorceress. But now that the sorceress has become a major threat, our true mission has begun. Oh. Well, isn't the sorceress, like, kind of your wife? Please tell me about Sorceress Adia. I heard she's your wife. You're quite right. She had been a sorcerer since childhood. I married her knowing that. Uh, hopefully not in childhood. We were happy. We worked together, the two of us. We were very happy. One day, Adia began talking about the building, the garden, and training Seed. I became obsessed with that plan. But I was very concerned with Seed's goal, that one day Seed might fight Adia. She laughed and told me that would never happen. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. However... However, the rest is history. Uh, what's up with Norg? Tell me about Master Norg. He is from the Shumi tribe. A black sheep of the tribe, one might say. We met while I was running around trying to find funds to build the garden. He became interested in building the garden, and we hit it off. Thanks to his funding, it was completed. However, we needed an enormous amount of funds to run the garden. So we began dispatching seeds around the world as a means of supporting the garden. Norg's idea was right on the money, so to speak. An enormous amount of capital began flowing into the garden, and the garden began to change. Lost sight of our high ideals, the truth was covered up. That's probably enough. In the end, it was my fault for giving up control. Well, sorry to hear that, bud. What do we do next? We must stop drifting around soon. I only hope that we can get things back to the way they were. Uh, that's all he's going to talk to you about. So, uh, after you're done talking to him, you can leave the infirmary. Does the doctor say anything interesting? No. Alright. Hey, random person that I'm not going to talk to. What's up down here? Ah, what's going on here? Something's happening. Squall! Squall! Zoo! What's up, chick? You look a little out of breath there. Have you seen the headmaster around? Yeah, he's in the infirmary. Sounds like trouble. What's wrong? Go to the second floor deck and see for yourself. There's a ship approaching. It should be. It could be Galbanians or worse. The sorcerers might be aboard, coming to attack us. I have to tell the headmaster right away. Well, you do that. I'll go check it out. Take the elevator.
Now make sure you select second floor. I don't think you can select any floor unless you're on the first floor. Like, if you're on any other floor when you step into the elevator, it'll just take you to the first floor. Kind of lame -o, but okay. And let's see what we got here. Hey, kids. Is Galbadia attacking us? Probably. Hey, is it really Galbadia? Yep. I came up here earlier in a practice run, and it was uh, uh, some dude was staring at this girl, the one with the black hair. They were just staring at each other, not making any notice of anything. And then this chick walked up with the brown hair, brown blonde hair, and she said, love is blind or something like that. Or no, she, she stood there for a while, and she was like, okay, see you. And then I think the girl said, love is blind, and then the guy said, well, what was that supposed to mean? Just kind of funny. It's interesting how some of the NPCs are changed. It's sort of randomized. Sometimes they're different people. Anyway. Let's go out here. A ship? A Galbadian ship? I hope not. Is Headmaster Sid here? Don't those guys look familiar? No, he's not. Are you from Galbadia? We are Seeds! This is Adia's ship! We are Sorceress Adia's Seed! Oh, crap. Seed! We're coming aboard! We're unarmed! If you say so. And we're just gonna jump flip and look all cool when we do. Please, we come in peace. We are about to leave in pieces! Or I could just put the sword away. We must speak to Headmaster Sid. Where is he? I'm right here. And he's got Zoo with him. Headmaster, we've come for Elone. Elone? It's too dangerous here now. Yes, I'm afraid so. Wait, Elone is here? That girl from Windhill? Squall, you know who she is? Please go and find her. She's here somewhere in the garden. Who are these guys? How are they connected? Squall? Yes, sir. Okay, does anybody say anything? Please bring her here. I'll help you, too. Anything? Okay, you guys don't say anything. All right. Now, you can ask students around here for a lo- Oh, hang on a minute. Squall, Elona's that girl, right? Yeah. That little girl Laguna was looking after. Probably. Do you know where she is? <laughs> Let's split up and look for her. Hey, Squall, who's alone? She's a person in the dream world. <sighs> okay. So, alone. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find her. I mean, there are kids here in this garden, so... I guess she would kind of blend in. I wonder who she is. Like, what, what, what is, what is her ties to all this? Why is Adia's seeds want her? Uh, like I said, you could talk to different people. They'll tell you they don't know alone. I guess you're supposed to check every single place. I'll just go ahead and tell you. You want to go to the library. Hi, jogger. Hi, jogger. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. I don't think that's Jack. Hey, I got paid. Yay. That always makes things better. Money. Uh, you say anything? Man, that girl heading towards the library was so cute. Don't tell me you're after her, too. Huh. That's, I guess, how you're supposed to know. Better not have been talking about Alone. I mean, she was little. Alone's a little, little thing. Or he could have been talking about that girl. I, I remember her. She was from the very beginning of the game. She seemed to know me. I didn't know who she was. Don't tell me she's alone. Yes, Squall? Are you alone? Yes. Uh, you look uh, a little bit older than the last time I seen you. You're alone. The alone? What is going on? You know Laguna, don't you? Yeah, we are talking about the same alone. I do. I really love Uncle Laguna. That's her, all right. Then tell me, what is it that we experienced? I'm sorry, Squall. It's hard to explain. Try. But one thing, it's about the past. So we were viewing the past. Well, obviously, I mean, 
because she was quite a bit younger in those visions. Yeah, if you haven't figured it out, the Laguna stuff was in the past. Which would mean that uh, Julia, the piano lady, is, I guess, Renoa's mom. People say you can't change the past. But even still, if there's a possibility, it's worth a try, right? Change the past? Is she serious? Give me a break. Are you the one responsible? Are you the one taking us to the dream world? I'm sorry. That's not an answer. Not again. Not so much I don't understand. Why me? I have enough problems as it is. Don't get me involved in this. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't... Don't count on me. Thanks, Squall. Chill out, buddy. Don't get emo like every other Final Fantasy, uh, protagonist. Hey, Zoo. Squall, did you find alone? Um, I'm alone. Okay. Don't ask me how old alone is, because I don't know. Are you alright? Don't ask me how old Zoo is, because I don't know. Mumble, mumble, mumble. What Alone said under her breath was... But I really like your biker jacket? What? I mean, your gun blades? Oh, you're my only hope. Well, dang, then you better help her, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Why do people depend on each other? In the end, you're on your own. That's one way to look at it. I've made it this far by myself. That's an easy line of thinking to get sucked into, I know from experience. Sure, I couldn't do a thing when I was a kid. What's wrong with her legs there? They're like toothpicks. I've depended on others, but... That's quite a ship you got there. I'll be the first one to admit that I'm here because of other people. I'm fine by myself now. I have all the skills I need to survive. I'm not a child anymore. That's a lie. I don't know anything. I'm confused. I don't want to depend on anyone. How can I do that? Just curl up in the fetal position, Squall. Someone tell me. Someone. So I'll end up depending on others after all. Well. Uh, sis. What's this? Well, just to go ahead and say, that is Little Squall. I'm all alone, but I'm doing my best. I'll be okay without you, sis. I'll be able to take care of myself. Oh, so I guess he lost his sister. Did she die? Did she leave? Him? What, what's up? Well, we'll learn about that later. Hey, sweetheart. You need to really quit sneaking into my room when I was sleeping and watching me. Hey again. I wasn't asleep. Oh, really? I think I heard you talking in your sleep. I'm not telling you what you said. Eh, whatever. I don't care what I said. Get out of my room. Hey, let's go for a walk. Again? That was a guided tour. This time it's a walk. We were walking that time. Just go by yourself. It's safe here. It's not that I want a guard with me. You know, you're always too deep in thought. Oh, boy. This is the part where I want to ram her head into a window. Why don't you lighten up a little? It's not good to think too much. I guess she's saying don't overthink things, but... Listen, I come from a generation where people don't know how to think at all. And I don't think there's... At this point, I'm convinced that there is no such thing as thinking too much. In my opinion, people don't think enough. But that's a soapbox that I need to not get on. What I'm trying to say is... Yada, yada, yada. It would be my honor to have your company, your highness, in hope that I may get your mind off of things. How about it, your highness? <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, your highness is in a foul mood. I'll see you around. <laughs> There, got rid of her. Or you could say, I'll play along. Fine.
Thank you, your highness. All right, let's get going. Ugh, it doesn't make any difference. <sighs> Renoa, you're pretty and all that, but I really do not like you sometimes. Hello, everyone. This is the headmaster speaking. The lines have been fixed, and I'm glad to be back on the air. Hurrah! Um, whoa! Yeah, that's the first thing you want to hear on the intercom. And he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Boy, it's been a slow day. Come on, give me a big one. Whoa, not that big. I didn't mean the big one. That's too big. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bigger than you wanted, buddy. Oh, and he got one, too. Uh, I think you better let your rod go, buddy. You better let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Squirrel, this is the headmaster speaking. Please come to my office. Repeat. Please come to my office right away. Ah, if it's not one thing, it's the other. Everybody, please remain calm. We just ran into a town, but uh, be, be calm. And please do not leave the garden under any circumstance until you are permitted. We will try to get things back in order ASAP. Thank you for your cooperation. As Ah, Squall, thank you for coming. Here are your orders. We've landed on Fisherman's Horizon. Please go ashore with Quistus and Renoa. Why those two particular people? Find the local mayor and apologize for this accident. Tell them we come in peace, and their town is now in pieces. Take a look around the city while you're there, too. Yes, sir. Why do I have to go? You have something you want to tell me? Why, why does everybody say that every time Squall thinks something? Are we telepathic here, or what? No. She is not just a special force for combat. I want you to see the world. To broaden your horizons. I have high expectations of you, Squall. Now go. I can understand him sending Quistus since she's a seed, too, but why Renoa? Okay. Now, I think you can actually... Yeah, you can play cards with him if you want, if you haven't gotten Cypher's card, but I already have Cypher's card. So, uh, yeah, so I don't need to do that. A new mission? We're here! We'll land at Fisherman's Horizon, we'll make an official apology, then observe the town. And maybe listen to some nice music? You can go out the second floor deck to get to Fisherman's. You can use it as an exit now. Well, sweet. That's what we'll do in the next video. I think we'll save Fisherman's Horizon for the next video. So, uh, join me next time and we'll go explore Fisherman's Horizon. Until then, this is 480 Volts signing.